Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song by Avril Lavigne called Girlfriend. And it starts off with this cool little lick, actually. I got lots of acapella stuff, the voice, just the voice. I hear this cool, awesome guitar riff come in where you can play five on the A string, and then second fret on the low E string, and then third fret on the low E string. And you may want to kind of fill that in with, with kind of some rhythms, kind of that five, two, three. you're playing with that is kind of a D, F sharp, G, if you kind of dig on, on, on that, D, F sharp, G, and you can kind of back that up with power chords, which would be really cool and, and heavy through the tune, or you could do a D5 power chord to kind of back up that first note, with first finger on the A string, fifth fret, third finger on the D string, seventh fret, and if you strum the A string to the high E string, or the A string to the D string, just those two strings, that sounds a D5 power chord. And then for that F sharp note on the low E string, you may want to use an F5 power chord, where you do or F sharp 5 power chord, where you do first finger on the low E second, third finger on the A string, fourth fret. And if you strum just the E in the A string, that sounds an F sharp 5. And then from the F sharp, we'd be going to the G note, kind of third fret on the low E string. So you'd use a G5 power chord, kind of third fret on the low E string, fifth fret on the A string, if you kind of dig on that. So you want to kind of back that up with the kind of that power chord shape, kind of D, F sharp, G. Down, down, up, 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 down, Kind of dig on that. Or if you wanted to kind of back this up with even bigger chords, you could use regular root position chords, and you could start on the D major chord. Let me play D major. First finger goes the G on the second fret, second finger on the high E second fret, and third finger on the B string third fret, and if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds a D major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. For that F sharp note, actually, you can kind of back that up with an F sharp minor chord. Normally, you do that as a second fret bar, third finger on the A string four, pinky on the D string four, kind of working that for your F sharp minor chord. Or another option, actually, would be using something called D sus slash F sharp. If you just want the right bass note here, because it doesn't last for very long, you could do first finger on the low E second, second finger on the G second, third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third. Might be a good substitute for that if you're looking for a good way out without the, the bar chords. And then from the D slash F sharp or the F sharp minor, we go to the G major chord. We play G major. First finger goes to A on the second fret, second finger on the low E third fret, third finger on the high E third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like G major chord and it sounds really happy. Now you may also want to think about putting the third finger on the B string third, pinky on the high E third, looking out for your G major. You can almost kind of work that with downs, actually, if you kind of dig on that. Kind of a D, 2, 3, D slash F sharp, G. And this is a little weird. I'm doing kind of a 3 plus 5 idea on the D to the F sharp minor. Kind of a D, 2, 3, D slash F sharp, or F sharp minor, G. D, D slash F sharp, or F sharp minor, G. Or one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4 4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the D and just tried that a lot. You'd have down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So another way to work it is to kind of do a down, down up on the D, down, down up on the F sharp minor, and your whole strum pattern. Drum pattern, and you may want to do the D with a down, down, and then have to hit the F sharp minor with the up, up, down, up, and then do the G with your whole strum pattern. So those hits sound kind of cool. D down, F sharp minor. To our main verse progression. And you hear this cool little lick kind of come in actually uh, on that part where you got fifth fret on the A string. And then we could go fifth on the low E string. And then we could go seventh on the low E. And then we could go to third fret on the low E. So you're kind of following a D note.
chord uh, shapes too, you'd have kind of a D5 idea, and then go into an A5 uh, chord where you'd have first finger on the low E fifth, third finger on the A string seven for an A5 power chord. And if you take that shape and kind of slide it over two frets, the seventh and ninth fret, it's kind of a B5 power chord. And then we'd end up on our G5 power chord that we were talking about earlier. So if you want to kind of work just the power chord idea, Actually, this could be kind of cool strumming wise to kind of a down, up, up. And one, one thing you may want to do is even kind of kind of lift it up the fingers a little bit, get you a little muting sound. So you can kind of do down, up, lift the left hand fingers for the down, almost like a mute idea, and then do another up. So you have kind of down, up, mute, up, down, up, mute, up, down, up, mute, up, down. Mute. Might be kind of cool to kind of follow that lick. D. First finger goes to the D on the second fret, second finger on the G second fret, and third finger on the B string second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A major chord and it sounds really, really heavy. And then from the A major, you get back up to the B minor chord by doing kind of a second fret bar, second finger on the B string third fret, third finger on the D fourth, pinky on the G fourth, and that for your B minor chord. Or if you want some other options for the B minor, you can kind of lift off the pinky and make that a B minor 7, or another way to play B minor 7, we're we'll doing first finger on the A second, second finger on the G second, third finger on the high E second, kind of working that for your B minor. Or if you're digging on kind of that four finger G major, you may want to do first finger on the A second, second finger on the G second, third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third, kind of working that for the B minor. And if you're digging on that, actually, you could use an A seven sus for the A where you could do first finger on the D second, second finger on the G second, third finger stays on the B third, pinky on the high E third. So kind of dig on that, that way you don't have to move as far. Kind of that A, A seven sus, that B minor, to the G, kind of leaving the, the three and four down. And you could do the down, down, up, up, down, up. Actually, it, it could work at a slow pace if you're just starting out, just that A, feel like doing that as a times two idea or doing two chords with a down down up up down kind of thing. Kind of that first part. And then from the verse then we'll be going into our pre-chorus part. And our pre-chorus starts on the B minor chord. And then we go to our F sharp minor chord. We got our A major chord, and at the very end we kind of half a G major to an A major, and you could kind of work that as kind of that down idea, kind of a B minor, a sharp minor, A, and then you may want to do the G with four, A with four at the end, or if you're doing your down, down, up, up, down, that could work at a really slow pace, kind of B minor, down. Too, kind of a G down, up, A, up, down, might be kind of cool too. Or you may want to try the down times two idea, kind of minor. feels like through that part is almost like a change of feel to something called a 16th note strum pattern. And what I mean by that is if you're tapping your foot to the beat, right now we're dividing that beat into two parts with our down, down, up, up, down. One, two, one, two, and that's called an eighth note. What a 16th note is, is where you divide that into four parts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one of my favorite 16th note strum patterns is a long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And what I mean by that is if you take the D and do it down for four, 
One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's what you're doing on the first beat. And on the second beat, you're doing a down on one, down on three, up on four. So we're going one, two, three, four, down, 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 down. Then on the third beat, you're doing an up on two, down on three. So we're going one, two, three, four, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down. And then on the last beat, you're going down, up, down, and right along with the one, two, three, four. So down, up, down. part is that G and A, you may want to do just the down, down, down up on each of those chords, or you can kind of split the pattern and do the G with the down, 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 up, and then go to the A for the up, down, down, up. So all together, you have a B minor, a sharp minor, A, 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 and then from there, then we our main chorus part. And our chorus starts on the D, and then an A, and then a B minor, and a G. And we kind of do that three times. And you may want to try that three plus five. You know, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, D, A, B minor, G. And then the last time we do a D to an F sharp minor, and then we do a G with kind of our A count. Or if you're doing the down, down, up, up, down, you could make it kind of just a down, down, up on each of those halfing chords. Kind of D, I think about adding to the song though is bass notes. And a lot of times on that first down of the down, down, up, up, down, up, you throw in a bass note for the chord. So on a D, you have the D for the bass. Unless you're doing the D slash F sharp or the D sus slash F sharp with the low E string for the bass, kind of the F sharp minor possibility. Um, and then on the A, you have the A for the bass. On the B minor, you have the A for the bass. On the G, you have the low E for the bass. So you can kind of work that verse as kind of a bass down, up, up, down, up, a really slow pace. And have this kind of that bass, down, up, up, down, A with an A bass, B minor with an A bass, G with an E bass, D with a D bass, A with an A bass, B minor with an A bass, G with an E bass. Or what you want to do is kind of try that times two idea that way, kind of D.
base is you could kind of work that as kind of kind of that, that um, kind of our bass down up on each chord, kind of that D, A, B minor, G, D, A, B minor, G, D, A, B minor, G, F sharp minor, G, try to on it that way. Or you could kind of try and bend it down, down, or bass down on the first chord, up, up, down, up on the second chord. E down, E on the up. hits here where you may just want to take the D major and kind of work downs and kind of kill the strings with the right hand or you may want to gravitate to the D5 kind of make that really heavy or you may want to kind of kill the strings with the left hand kind of a muting idea making up rhythms in the background or you could clap which would be cool too um, so, so it's kind of a D hit waiting right acapella idea waiting for another D hit Another D hit. <laughs> so you know we're trying to make up stuff. Actually, I'm not doing this quite quite as long as I need to. But then that last time, you'll kind of hear that intro idea come back. Kind of D, F sharp, G. Kind of like our intro to lead into our outro chorus. And then we got our D. of how you can strum the girlfriend by Avril Lavigne. So good luck.